Okay, I like this one. Which inequality um, represents the graph? So we're going to look at the graph and we're going to say what's happening on the graph. We need to, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to write an equation for what we see and then see which, uh, which one it is. Okay, so first thing that we do, we're going to have, we're going to write it in uh, this form, either y mx plus b, oops, there's four options here that this could be either greater than, could be less than, it could be greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, okay? So, how do we do it? We say y, and notice that the shading right away, straight away, is below the line, okay? Below the line. So we need to have y is less than this line, okay? But it, the line is also solid, which means it can be equal to as well. It can be on the line. So what we're trying to have then is y is less than or equal to. That's already something that we know, okay? I'm not even going to eliminate choices right now. I'm just going to write the equation. So um, we're going to pretend like we don't have answers and we've got to come up with it ourselves. So what do we do next? Well, let's find the intercept. Where does it cross the y-axis? It crosses here at 4, positive 4. So we know that this is going to end in a b value of plus 4. Okay? So what's going to go in front of x? Well, we have a negative slope. We see it dropping as it moves to the right. So we're going to have a negative number in front of x. And then how much does it drop? We're going to take some points that we know. I'm going to actually draw on the graph for a second. We take some points that we know. We know it intersects here. I want to find another point where I can see that it intersects the line, which is down here. Okay? And I'm going to say, how much does it rise? How much does it run? Well, it's run rising negatively. It drops one, two, three, four, five, six units. Negative six, and it runs two units. Okay? If I write that, I'll write it down here on the bottom in green. Negative six over two, right? Rise of negative six, run of two. You can see that that simplifies to actually negative three over one. And then anytime you have a slope that simplifies, it means there was a point, at least one point, in between the two points you picked that also lands right on the grid lines. And you can see that that point is right there. Okay. <clears throat> we could divide it, the, the numbers by two, so that means there was actually two steps. One, two, like that. Okay. Anyway, that's the slope, so it's negative 3, and that's an equation. So now what we're doing is we're just looking for where do we see y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 4. y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 4, and that is b.